Hey guys, Benzo from Volume Auto Customs here. Thanks very much for joining today. In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick update on what is going on with the channel. Why hasn't there been any uploads for quite a long time? And how, how the R80 build is going. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So back in January, I've made a very hard decision to move back to my home country, Hungary, after living in Denmark for almost eight years. And I did so with the purpose of setting up my own workshop here uh, so I can start more seriously focusing on building bikes and shooting content for you guys as well as to help out in my family's business. This all meant that at the beginning of January I had started packing up all my things including motorcycles and unfortunately I haven't really been able to work on them ever since other than the K75 which I have been using already and I've done some modifications. There might come a video about that uh, to show you what I've done. Um, the original plan was to set up the workshop and have everything ready by midsummer, but unfortunately life had to happen and many other things taking priority. It's only now that I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel in regards to getting the workshop ready. There are still a few things missing. I'm waiting for a motorcycle lift and a larger compressor for my sandblasting cabinet. But I think everything is gonna happen soon and I'm very excited to start shooting some more content for you guys as well as to start or continue working on the R80 build. So what's the status on the R80? Well, the bike is completely disassembled right now, including the engine and the gearbox, and I have all the raw footage of that. So as soon as I get around to editing those videos, I'll be posting them for you guys to see. In addition to continuing the R80 build, I have another project coming up, which will be running parallel to the R80. And this is a Triumph Daytona T595 uh, from 97. This is a first generation bike I bought in boxes, and we'll be doing a complete rebuild of it, rebuild of it to original standards. I'm sure it's going to be a very fun and exciting project for me. I hope you guys will like the content about it, as well as the continuation of the R80 build. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will enjoy the future content that's coming up on the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. And see you in the next one.